So, hello everyone. I am very happy that I'm here today with world silver medalist Jun Wancha. Jun, how are you feeling today? I'm good. Um, how are you? <laughs> I'm also good. It's good to hear that you're feeling a bit better because, of course, this Skate Canada was probably not what you expected. Um, let's talk a little bit through this competition, starting with the short program. Um, yeah, you had one fall on the quattro. Um, the axle was good, the sal was good. How would you rate that short program? Um, well, um, like again, the season started and um, another Grand Prix, so um, I was trying my best. And well, I made a mistake on short, but I think I, I really trying to give everything, so I'm kind of satisfied about that. So. That was one good um, competition, yeah. Yeah, that was also your best uh, short program. Okay, better than at the, your first outing. Mm -hmm. You put the quad toe in for this season in the short program. Um, why did you take this decision? Um, because I want to improve more myself. Mm -hmm. And I think this was the time to um, develop the elements. Mm -hmm. So I, I think like the sow and the sloop, axle, like those in the short, um, I think I really nailed it a lot of times mm -hmm. with um, very different musics. Like Olympic season and like last season, I really make a lot of things. So always I really want to improve myself and challenge myself. So that's why I um, um, dis decided to uh, do a two quads in the short. Yeah. How is your success rate with it in trainings? <laughs> Actually, in trainings, um, it was not like that that bad. Like it was mm -hmm. good actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think what I need is just keep on um, working on or trying hard and just keep pushing it at competition. That's the more important thing right yeah. now. It's also different if you do it in a program, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So after the short program, how did you feel going into the free skate? Well, same. I yeah. just trying to do my best, and I was really focused, and yeah. <laughs> and then I guess you are still trying to process yourself what yeah. happened in the free skate. Let's walk us through this a little bit. I think first of all, it's really hard to say right now. Yes. Because, um, <laughs> I would say there is some reasons, but. Yeah. Um, first of all, in the skating, I made a really big mistakes for uh, for the first two jumps. Yes. But even that, like um, supporters, fan audience, uh, cheering, were really cheering for me. So actually, I got a lot of energies from them. So that's why I can um, keep trying to do like everything more until my program finished. So I was very thankful for audience and fans to mm -hmm. whoever cheering for me. So I was really feel um, warm and um, happy. Um, it's it's so sad that I didn't make a good um, performance yesterday, but um, right now what I can say is just I just wanna stay strong and make maybe just take a little more time and um, recover from that and just keep working hard and training hard. Yeah, can you elaborate a bit more? What was going on in your mind during that skate? Um, well, like. <laughs> first fall was really hard and second fall was really hard too uh. <laughs> but what i can do at that moment and think is just <laughs> keep focusing you on myself kept focusing yeah, yeah because and just keep reading myself i don't lose the rhythm going in but i, I think i kind of lose it <laughs> but i tried my best so yeah so but you didn't lose your focus <laughs> yeah, yeah i was keep trying yeah that's good are you currently, or did you have any pain with these falls, or are you currently in pain or with injuries? Um, well, if I don't have a pain, I think that's kind of a lie. So, <laughs> okay, yeah. I yeah. Have a pain, but, mm -hmm. well, like those kind of pains are like, sometimes it, it just happens like mm -hmm. that. So, I would say it's one good experience for me, one mm -hmm. another learning from competition. So yeah, I'll, I can take that. Yeah, you're very positive uh, yeah, from this. Yeah. And then, Maybe yeah. later of season, 
we can talk about this again. Exactly. Yeah. We can imagine how this maybe helped you go forward. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So your coaching chains gained a lot of attention during the off season, mm -hmm. but uh, you've already been saying that you have been training in Korea for a long time. Yes. So uh, I don't think much changed for you, right? Yes, yes. So what led to you to do this final decision to say like, okay, I make the cut? Um, because like since COVID, um, I come back to my home country, Korea, start skating there, and it was definitely not allowed to coming back to Canada to train. Mm -hmm. So like during so from that to until I think I think it's until like Beijing. Yeah. N not allowed to go to Canada. Go to Canada. So I was keep training in Korea and like um. Um, training with cricket, um, it was really hard because in Korea and Canada we have uh, the time difference and during the COVID, um, except for skaters, no one can come into the ice rink so no one can zoom in for me or taking a video for me, mm -hmm. So except for skaters, so it was hard and even if I say take a video and then send it to cricket and then working like that, it takes too much time. Mm -hmm. Because like because of time difference, like it takes yeah. one day and then it's for me it's another practice, so it's not like really meaning. So that was really hard. And since that I was um kind of working with Miss Chi right now. Um and I was keep training and I was really organizing all the off eye stuff and like physio stuff mm -hmm. to take care of my body because it's very important for as an athlete. So Everything was keep organizing during like two, three years. And and then after that, it's kind of university things came out and mm -hmm. it's really hard to go back to Canada and train full time there. So I was like, really, it was really hard decision. And uh, I know I worked with um, team cricket for a long time uh, since junior skaters. But yeah. Um, well, yeah. yeah. So, so, but. Even that I was, um, I think I really trained well and um, keep um, improving myself and challenging myself during COVID and like Olympics and last season too. So it worked just really well in Korea with your yeah, coach there. Yeah, and even like choreography, I was working with Shea um, mm -hmm. a lot of times, like Zoom or like after a season, I, I'm going to California to working with her. So um yeah everything was just okay. flew Can like that and then yeah i just decided after yeah. awesome. so you made a great transition to shailene Bourne because you work with her already for a long time maybe you start with that how do you two develop a program together like tell us the different steps that you take until we have the finished product here um first time working with shailene was in, I think it was in 2018, right after the Pyeongchang Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, first time I was only working with her a free program, and that was the Romeo and Juliet. And well, that was kind of what I wanted to skate it. And she, um, she uh, cut the music, edit the music, and then brought it up to me. And it was quite different Romeo and Juliet like than what I used to know it, but I really loved it. Mm -hmm. Um, that was a really good start. And after that, um, we did the Fire Within, more new age classical. That went really good. And um, right before the Olympic season, I was trying to work with her again. But because of COVID, um, it's, it was hard to fly to other countries. So skip and I used uh, uh, the Fire Within again. And then and then I think Olympic season, I started working with her like full program, like short and long. and. Um, yeah, so how, how do you two develop such a program? So she finds the music, you find the music, and how, how do you like, go from there? She always gave some music, and mm -hmm. I always gave her music, mm -hmm. and we just listen together, mm -hmm. and then we just pick it up the best thing that I really fell into mm -hmm. it, and what she really fell into it. And, but I think at the last moment, I think I always decided the music, mm. but um, Shay always um, edited the music really, really um, yeah. great and um, amazing way. And then 
Yeah. And then you just try on the ice. Yes, <laughs> and actually, I really love working with her because when I'm working with her, she has a lot of energies, and that's like so much mean and uh, meaning for me. So uh, I'm always happy to skate with her. Yeah. So let's talk about your two new programs this season. Mm -hmm. So you said the Masquerade Vaults took quite a long time to decide on that piece. Mm -hmm. So what was the deciding factor that you decided? Uh, it was really hard to choose music because I did Michael Jackson last season. So I kind of did a totally different thing, but kind of more once more on the like pop songs or I was it was hard to decide it but um, just skating at California and I was keep listening to music and then somehow the Musker Waltz just came to me <laughs> and I just like oh I think this would be really cool and I'm um, different vibe and different kind of music so it'll be great so that's why I choose it. Yeah. What do you enjoy most about this program? Oh, I would say footwork is the highlight and the most like enjoyable moment. Mm -hmm. And because yeah, it's like end of the program, and I think I, I need more like working on and training to show it more at the competition. But that's my favorite part. Awesome. And there were the Batman, for the second year in a row, you have a soundtrack of a yes. movie. You're a big new movie fan, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm very big, big movie fan. <laughs> and you, last year you said the, um, the James Bond was one of your favorite music. So what yeah. about Batman? Yeah. Oh, maybe this is my favorite music. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Yeah. Okay, so it's a very dramatic music mm -hmm. and draws people in. Yeah. So uh, why did you choose that piece? Well, again, I just watched the movie and... I mean, I like before I really liked the superhero movies like mm -hmm. Marvel stuff, mm -hmm. like Thor or Spider Man. They were my favorite um, heroes. Mm -hmm. But I just watched the, the Batman movie and it really felt different way than other heroes. Very deep and more emotional and very deep and dark. And like, I think the Batman has more um, different like special uh, personality into it so like yeah. I was when I'm thinking the Batman like he's a human like not like something has mm -hmm. but he's just like at night he's just like working as a hero so that was very like come to me and impressed me a lot mm -hmm. so that's why yeah that's okay. great um, so you uh, skated already to many styles in your career. Is there anything, any style, any kind of music that you still dream skating to, maybe in the future? Ooh, <laughs> I think there are... I'm not sure yet, but mm -hmm. every season I just want to keep challenging about the choreography and ch choosing the music. That will be really fun and that will be um, a good chance to improve. So. Mm -hmm. If there's anything more or maybe um, same kind of music but I can make it better yeah it will be always fun um, last year you had of course your greatest success of your career uh, so far winning the silver medal at world now a few months after how would you say did that uh, impact your life well like um, I think it's really great experience that I got a medal at the world but it's more has a meaning on the that I did more clean program like hit every like element so like I think more on the my like the performance was more like meaning Special. for me mm -hmm. and then that I can more mem memorable mm -hmm. so that was I think after worlds uh, I really worked hard trained hard um, through the uh, the off season, so really f affect me, yeah. So that, that you want to push even harder, mm -hmm. yeah. So you bec you are already for a long time very popular in Korea, mm -hmm. and I think through the world uh, you became even more popular. Like, how do you feel about that? If you're such a celebrity, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, like, well, my fans are always supporting me and cheering me and. I'm so thankful for them 
um, like yesterday. Even I, I didn't have the good, great performance. They always cheering me, and during the performance, I can feel it, and then I can get more energies from that. So I feel so thankful uh, for my fans, mm -hmm. and feel so sorry about. It. But what I can say and just stay strong and <laughs> keep pushing me hard. That's it. So. Um, and yeah, your next competition will be in Finland. Mm -hmm. How will you prepare now during the next weeks for that event? Well, just take time, little step back and mm -hmm. just recover well and just train hard. I think that's it. Do you have any specific goals for yourself this season? Well, the um, most important thing is um, no injuries. Um, yeah, that's that will be my goal. No injuries. I'm um, doing a um, great season, but well, I'm trying more hard um, elements stuff this season. So um, just keep working on them, training hard on them, and uh, do um, good skating like what I can more feel successful. So you mentioned more hard elements. You mean the quattro, or are you also working on something else? Um. Well, I, I'm working on other um, stuff too, but for now, I just want to say my elements right now, I have it. To, to improve them, yeah, yes. 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 So as a last question, your signature element is the Ina Bauer. Like you would, it's now called even Juna Bauer. <laughs> How did you learn that element so well? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're um, so flexible. <laughs> Yeah, like I was working on Ina Bauer. Um, I think it's really cool and great um, career move. Mm -hmm. And I think <laughs> during working with Shay, um, we were talking and like the head idea came out. And I think that was start and then gets um, better and better. Yeah, and like a so lot of fans loved it so i feel so thankful for it so you're developing it more and more so yeah. it only came like during the last years i was thinking probably he's training this like from six years on or something <laughs> and not no no <laughs> okay wow well Junwan, thank you so much for taking time uh good luck for espo and for the rest of the season and thank we'll see you, so you there thank you